segment today, we'll be discussing the important differences between apoptosis and necrosis in a quick bit. So let's start. First, what you need to remember, if you just remember one thing here, that apoptosis is a programmed cell death. Something which is programmed or planned has two things, less destruction and, but it requires energy. So energy requirement means it is an active process. So A for active, A for apoptosis, it is an active process. Lesser destruction in programmed cell death means the plasma membrane is intact and the cellular contents are also intact. Right now because the cellular contents are intact, no inflammation is there because inflammation occurs due to the cellular contents leaked out in necrosis which incite an inflammatory reaction. So no cellular content destruction here, so no inflammation is there. Then what else can you remember? Because no inflammation is there. If you remember, we used to study that swelling is one of the part of the spectrum of inflammation. So wherever there is inflammation, there is swelling. So swelling of the cells occurs in necrosis, whereas shrinkage of the cells occurs in apoptosis with where every part along with certain organelles will be pinched off to form apoptotic bodies, right? Apoptotic bodies will be formed in apoptosis because it's less destruction, single cell is affected. Less destruction or planned, you can remember, it is physiological process. Example, RBCs have to get destroyed after 120 days of lifespan. Every month, endometrial shedding will occur during menstruation. These are all the physiological examples, though it can be pathological as well. Because everything is planned, even the electrophoresis pattern will look like a planned step ladder appearance in apoptosis so the only thing you need to remember it's a planned form of injury and there's lesser destruction but energy requirement or active processes there a for active a for apoptosis necrosis plasma membrane and cellular contents are destroyed which induce inflammatory reaction with inflammation you can remember inflammation Spectrum includes swelling of the cells. There is swelling of the cells. It is always pathological or detrimental to your body. It is always detrimental to your body and thus it requires a large number of cells or a group of cells are affected, right? Next, if you look at this light, if you look here, there will be apoptotic body formation, shrinkage of the cell but membrane, uh, membrane blebbing can be there. So apoptotic bodies you can very well remember, right? Next, here necrosis is there, inflammation is there. In inflammation you can remember swelling due to influx of large amount of water inside the cell because the plasma membrane is destroyed. It allows the movement of large amount of fluids inside which induce swelling. So there is increase in cell volume, loss of plasma membrane integrity and leakage of the cellular contents in necrosis. Now here, if you can appreciate, these are apoptotic bodies with their own organelles which are still functional. Whereas in necrosis, everything is destroyed even when the organelles are not functional. Then next, see, it is very important. This is electrophoresis pattern. Agros gel, electrophoresis pattern, you need to remember. In apoptosis, it is a planned type of necrosis. So even the electrophoresis pattern is planned at every 180 base pairs distance. There is internucleosomal breakage, internucleosomal breakage with the help of endonuclease enzyme. All the MCQs discussed here, internucleosome breakage with the help of endonuclease enzyme at a distance of 180 base pairs gives this step ladder appearance on in apoptosis, okay? uh, whereas in necrosis, if you see, this is a diffuse pattern, a smear pattern on agros gel in necrophoresis in case of necrosis. Next, if you, can you appreciate these apoptotic shrunken hepatocytes, these apoptotic bodies? Can you appreciate this are example? This is physiological, right? Next, in case of necrosis, can you appreciate a larger group of cells are involved? right nuclear dissolution is there nucleus is dissolved you cannot appreciate nucleus a larger group of cells are involved though this is example of coagulative necrosis so still the architecture can be appreciated program cell death if you remember you have to remember it is apoptosis apoptosis is a type of cell injury it is a type of cell injury type of cell death right which is programmed and planned next 
all of the following are features of apoptosis except inflammation why why except inflammation because no plasma membrane damage no cellular contents leakage and thus no inflammatory reaction induced these apoptotic bodies are very well planned to be phagocytosed by macrophages before any inflammatory reaction is incited next following is seen in both apoptosis and necrosis necrosis is always pathological whereas apoptosis can be physiological or pathological so both may be pathological Internucleosomal cleavage of DNA is a characteristic of well-planned type of apoptosis where at every 180 base pair there is internucleosomal breakage and thus gives a step ladder pattern appearance on agrose and electrophoresis. Irreversible injury you need to remember flocculent densities in the mitochondria due to calcium influx. Flocculent densities indicates irreversible injury. Irreversible injury is due to deposition of calcium in the mitochondria, or you can say flocculent densities in the mitochondria. Okay, understood. With just one thing, you remember, apoptosis is programmed. It is active, less destruction, thus intact plasma membrane and cellular contents, thus no inflammation, and in fact shrinkage. into the apoptotic bodies which are well planned and phagocytosed before any inflammatory reaction is incited and then the characteristic step ladder pattern on electrophoresis whereas necrosis there is destruction of plasma membrane and cellular contents leakage thus inflammatory reaction is there irreversible injury is due to flocculent densities you can see or the deposition of calcium in the mitochondria thank you